Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, and welcome back to talking about audio in Game Maker. So, uh, last time, I talked about how to use audio emitters in Game Maker, and how to play different sounds through different emitters, and use that to sort of categorize the different sounds in your game. And in this video, I'm going to talk about applying different audio effects to those emitters, using what is known as buses. So, when they first were added to Game Maker, I did make a video on audio effects and just very basic usage of them. Uh, in that video, we played all audio effects through what is known as the main bus. We routed all audio effects to the main audio bus, which uh, you can access with the audio bus main um, global variable in Game Maker. And uh, everything that you can do with the, uh, the main audio bus will also apply here, but uh, today I'm going to get more in-depth on how you can apply uh, audio effects only to specific emitters, or how to exercise more uh, more fine-tuned control over uh, your different audio effects. So I'm going to start by creating an audio bus, and that's going to be uh, created with the audio bus create function. Uh, that's going to return an audio bus struct. I can assign this to a variable. Um, I'm going to, I think, apply this to the, uh, to the BGM emitter. I'm going to have some audio effects uh, that only work on, on the background music and not on the other sound effects. So I can call that, actually, uh, keep the naming formatting consistent. I'm going to call that bus BGM. And to apply that to the audio, uh, to, the, to the background music, I can set that to the uh, BGM emitter using the audio emitter bus function. Uh, that's going to take an emitter index. And that is going to take also an audio bus, like this. Uh, somewhat important to note, uh, there is no audio bus destroy function or anything related to that because the uh, audio buses are structs, and if there's nothing left that references them, then the Game Maker garbage collector will notice that and it will delete them, and you don't have to do anything. Uh, this does differ from audio emitters and a bunch of other things in Game Maker, which were added to the engine before the 2.3 update. Having some things like this be automatically garbage collected and some things not feels a little bit messy, but that is neither here nor there. Uh, hopefully when the new runtime comes out, uh, Yo-Yo Games will take the opportunity to clean up the language a little bit when it comes to things like this, but uh, let's get back on topic. So audio buses have a few properties. Um, one is going to be bus BGM. Uh, you can... Uh, treat this like any other struct, uh, you can say dot gain, and that is going to be a uh, value which uh, is going to range from 0 to 1, like gain slash volume often is in audio. Uh, a gain of, of 1 is going to be 100% volume, a gain of less than 1 is going to be some reduced volume. And you can use audio buses to control the, uh, to control the sound of all of the different uh, sounds that play through the emitter that they're on, through the emitters, I guess, plural, that they're on. Um, you can also say uh, bypass, you can use bypass and that will, um, by default this is false, if you set it to true, all effects that are on an audio bus will just be flat out ignored, and you can use that to toggle entire sets of audio, um, entire sets of audio effects that are on a bus, uh, for all sounds that are played using it, and most interestingly we have the, uh, bus effects array, and this is, I believe, an array of up to eight elements, which you can um, you can assign different audio effects using the audio effect create function. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the different things that you can do with audio effects right now. I uh, I did make a video on that a long time ago, and I uh, believe I said then that audio effects are one of those things that really the best way to get to learn what you can do with them is to just play around with them and see what you create. Uh, I am, however, going to set myself a, uh, a default effect. I uh, wrote this out beforehand, so I know that this should be fairly, uh, I guess we'll call it interesting, and it will be, uh, it'll be noticeable anyway. And I'm going to use this as an example of um, a reverb audio effect that I will be applying to the, uh, to the background music, and this will only work on the background music. The other sounds that play in the game will not be affected by this. So if I run this now, uh, the music's going to sound different. All right, you hear it definitely sounds like a little bit of a reverb going on. Maybe a little overkill, honestly, but as I said, it's noticeable. Um, if I walk around and talk to the NPC, you hear the little chime, and it sounds normal. 
Uh, the player footsteps when I walk around sound normal. No reverby echoey effect on them. Uh, this effect is only being applied to the uh, to the BGM. And of course, um, if I were to instead apply this to the main audio bus, then uh, this would apply to all sounds. You can barely hear that footstep sound effect. That's very echoey. All right. Uh, of course, you can toggle this on or off, as I mentioned. Uh, you can either uh, use the uh, the bypass uh, come on bypass uh, value that is part of every audio effect struct and uh, toggle that on or off for um, to toggle an effect on a bus, or you can, uh, as I mentioned, use the bypass property of the bus itself. I think uh, let's say keyboard check pressed uh, VKF4. Um, we can toggle the bypass value of, um, of that bus and we can toggle the effect on or off. All right, it's on right now. And if I hit F4, the sound goes back to normal. Okay. Whole lot of fun um, for the sake of consistency. Uh, let me just write a note here. And that is uh, but some of the things that you can do with audio buses. If you want to, at any point, um, change the audio bus that belongs to an emitter, you can use audio emitter bus uh, at any later point and change it to whatever you want. You can change it to another bus. If you want to remove a, um, if you want to remove a bus from an emitter, uh, you can uh, set it back to audio bus main, and this will return the. Uh, the audio emitter to just going straight to the main bus. I don't believe you can set it to like undefined or anything. I imagine that if you do this, uh, the game will just crash. Let me find out what happens if you do this. All right, well, the game just didn't even run. It didn't show an error message, which maybe it should, but uh, the, uh, the audio device didn't like that and the game just crashed. So um, don't set an audio emitter to use undefined for its audio bus. If you want to get rid of it, use the audio bus main. Um, for that, I really feel like that should be an error message and not just a hard crash, but let's see. One last thing about audio buses and the audio main bus. Uh, the audio main bus is still going to be applied to any sounds it, that, that play in your game, regardless of whether or not their emitter already has a, a different bus set to them. So, uh, that is what is known as routing different audio buses to each other or through each other, I guess you could say. Um, when you play a sound on this emitter, on the emitter that uses this bus, uh, it will calculate all of the audio effects that uh, belong to this bus. So the reverb, some, I don't know, EQ, bit crush, or whatever you want. And uh, when it's done with that, it will route the sound to the main bus and it will apply, it will apply the uh, any and all effects that belong to the main bus. So audio buses can stack like that. I don't believe it is possible to create your own uh, custom audio buses with audio bus create and uh, route them to each other. I could see that being something that people might want to do if they really have a, um, if they have a game that's really heavy on the sound design, but uh, I've never heard of anyone like complaining about the lack of that in Game Maker, so I imagine it's not a big deal to most people. And uh, yeah, I'm not aware of any way that you can uh, route different audio buses through each other. Maybe you can say, like, I don't know if you can set one audio uh, bus to another with the audio emitter bus function or anything like that, but there you have it. So that's audio emitters and audio buses in Game Maker. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can do a lot with this. Um, you can really use this. You can really use audio emitters and audio buses and toggling different effects on or off like this to really create interesting dynamic soundscapes in your game. Um, a big popular use for this sort of thing is uh, when the player like goes into water or something to uh, put a uh, put a low pass filter on uh, the background music so it sounds like everything's a little bit muted and the high frequencies are toned down uh, the way that the way that you might experience underwater. These are definitely some of the more interesting additions to Game Maker in the last year or so. Uh, I hope you all are able to use these to do some rather interesting things. I'm going to end this off now. Uh, my name is Michael. I like Wizards and Dragons and making games. I try to post about two game dev videos a week. 
one tutorial tutorial like this and uh, one let's make a game, currently a 3D wizard game. Uh, speaking of 3D, hopefully soon I will get around to making a video on positional audio, which is kind of the, like, the last big thing that I want to do with audio, um, in terms of tutorial videos. So, if you're interested in any of that sort of thing, feel free to subscribe. If you want the code for this, look for the GitHub repository down in the video description. I definitely encourage you to play around with this and just see what happens, see if you create some interesting sound effects that you happen to like. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. Otherwise, I hope you all found this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, Gamer Player, John Luigi Celentano, Manta Ray, Syndra Larson, Square Crow, Vitro V, and Zenjamin for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.